All right, guys. D6N. It uh, the blade was stuck in the left position, left on the blade angle. It will not angle to the right. So let's get the laptop, hook it up, and go on ET and check for codes. Okay, we're on ET. Let's go to active codes. And we've got blade, angle, right, solenoid, current below normal. So you could have open circuit, um, bad coil or bad wiring going to. So we're gonna have to find where that solenoid is and start doing our checks. Okay, so the ECM is sending the signal for blade right with the rocker switch. We'll do left. There's blade angle left. Blade angle right. I would say the rocker switch is working and the ECM is sending out a duty cycle but there's probably a break in the wire somewhere or the coil itself so let's get into that. Okay we're gonna go on the schematic. Here we've got uh, solenoid right angle and we've got our uh, schematic location and machine location so we'll click that. Solenoid right angle, machine location. So, it's looking, it's on the implement, it's on the control valve. So, um, we're going to see if we can find that just on the right hand side of this machine. Alright, so the implement control valve is, these are the test ports on the access door on the outside of the machine. So, we're gonna have to get in here, pull the seat out, pull the armrest out, and then pull the top uh, panel here off to get access to that control valve. So we'll go ahead and pull the seat out and get the panels off. All right, so according to this picture here, uh, I got the accumulator and the coil. It's going to be right here. And I've just got the seat push forward and the side panel off and I do think it's this one right here so we're gonna unplug it um, if we unplug it and we get another code on ET and we know it's not the right one but um, yeah we're just gonna unplug it and I there's gonna be a check to probably jump this harness and see if the code changes from an open circuit or current current below normal so let's uh, unplug that and we'll check check ET see if we got a different code if not and we know we're on the right one and we'll, we'll uh, start checking the harness all right so on cat ET shows the wiring there right to the solenoid from East uh, powertrain ECM and it's purple and white wire purple and white and we're going to Turn the key on, go on ET, and we're going to jump these two pins. And if the code goes away, then you know that your coil is no good. Um, if the code remains the same, then we know we have a harness issue likely. So let's turn the key on and we'll try that. Alright, I'm going to install the jumper wire and we'll see if that code goes away. It does not. So it looks like we're going to be chasing a harness issue, likely. Alright, so since jumping these terminals didn't change the service code, um, we are going to Go to the ECM, the powertrain ECM. I think it's I think it's on this side, in behind this panel, and we're going to disconnect the harness 
from the ECM and then we're going to check if we have connection um, through each of these wires from the ECM to the solenoid. Um, if we if we don't, then we'll run an overlay wire from the ECM to the solenoid wire in here and uh, see if that fixes it. If both wires do have good connection, then um, we could be into an ECM issue itself. So let's get this panel off over here and uh, get to the ECM. Okay, so here we have the powertrain ECM and blade angle right solenoid right here coming out so we're going to take this pin uh, plug jc2 off the power chain control and then we're going to check this wire for continuity right to the solenoid plug and um, see if we have connection all right so we're tapped into the purple wire here going to the signal wire from ECM to the solenoid and that pin and we're reading around 4 ohms it was at 4 it's kind of changing we're going to check the return return wire so the white one alright guys so now we're uh, tapped into the solenoid return on the harness plug and we got the wire here right in the plug and we're reading open circuits, so um, that'll be the broken wire, probably causing us our issue. Uh, we're going to run an overlay wire for that wire, and we might just spoon into the back here and into the back of that plug and see if it works. And then if it works, we'll we'll run a nice overlay wire along the harness somewhere. And uh, yeah, so. Let's get it set up to spoon into the back and we'll see if the blade works. All right guys, so I've just run this wire from the plug to the solenoid just to see. Um, we're gonna turn the key on, check ET and see if the code goes away and then if it does, we'll check make sure the blade works and if that works, then we'll have to figure out a way to run a nice overlay wire um, tied up so yeah let's turn the key on and check ET okay so the active code is gone we only have the remote communication module which was there before um, so we'll, uh, we'll unplug, unplug the sensor, see if it comes back. It's unplugged. So there it is, comes back, blade angle right. We're going to plug it in. And it goes away. So let's fire up the dozer and see if the blade angles. Mm. To the right. So we so now the blades working we're going to figure out a way to run a nice overlay wire it's probably going to be a pain because I'll probably have to pull either this panel out if I can sneak it behind and around which I'm not sure I won't know until I pull the panels or we go down uh, through this hole here and uh, goes to the park brake valve and underneath the floor pan and up we'll uh, yeah we'll see 
which way I decide to go. But at least I know the blade works and I can tell them that the blade's working so these guys can plan their day for tomorrow to be using the dozer because they weren't able to do the earthworks that they wanted without this dozer. And uh, yeah, so let's get this wire ran. Okay guys, got the wires uh, ran here, the overlay wires from the ECM plug. And just ran it down through the floor, across the center. It's tied up there. And uh, up here to the control valve to the solenoid plug. So it's nice when you run the two wire, you always, now there's a spare there in case somebody ever needs to run a wire. But we'll, uh, we're going to get this cab cab put back together and uh, test the dozer out make sure it's make sure it's gonna work properly and not uh, not act up at all so yeah let's get this thing back together all right guys so if you're ever putting a you ever have the seat out of a d6 or out of its spot it is a pain to get these seats out they're heavy usually I either flip them forward um, some cabs I've lifted them up and rest them on this armrest to that one, but this, this the plastic trim in this cab is way too nice to do that. So, um, yeah, if you're ever putting the floor back in, make sure that your seat switch plug isn't uh, laid underneath, because they will they'll get stuck underneath the floor and you'll bolt it down and crush the plug, or you'll bolt it down, put the seat in, and then wonder where your plug went. And uh, yeah, another thing is before you put the seat in, make sure you put the floor mat back in on top of the floor before you put the seat on. I've I've lifted the seats in before back into the cab, bolt it down, only to realize my floor mat's sitting on the other side of the track and I forgot to put it on. So it's a pain. You don't want to do it twice. And to uh, learn from my mistakes. So all right, guys, machines back together seats in the cab all the armrests are all on here to close this access door here but uh, let's try the blade out see make sure it's working Alright guys, blade's working and uh, no active codes on the monitor, so that's good. I'm sure the customer will be happy about that. We'll uh, clean up all of our tools and get out of here on to the next job. So this, this wraps up that uh, the D6N with the blade not angling. It uh, wouldn't angle to the right, broken wire. Got an overlay wire ran. It just uh, obviously I know that's a temporary, long-term solution. I think I I don't see why uh, it would need a, a wiring harness. Otherwise, we'll never find probably never find that broken wire in that in that cat harness. So um, I'll let the customer know they were okay with me running an overlay wire. That uh, yeah. So so thanks thanks for watching. 
Uh, like and subscribe. There's going to be more videos coming up. So machines are always breaking every day. There's a machine broke. So thanks for watching, guys, and have yourselves a great day.